Welcome to Becoming a State National. I'm not an attorney and by no means is this legal advice. So last video we left off at chapter three on common law remedy to beat traffic tickets. So let's jump into chapter three. What is a motor vehicle? Know the definition of legal words of art. Whenever reading government literature, whether it be codes or statutes or general descriptions pertaining to various departments of government, it's always best to have a working knowledge of the legal definitions of the terms being used so that you can correctly understand the information being communicated. Without such knowledge, it would be easy to become deceived by the way certain passages are worded. The phrases term of art or legal word of art when used in reference to words or phrases in law refers to a word or phrase that has special meaning in a particular context. Therefore, unless you are aware of the word's meaning in a legal sense, you may, uh, may misunderstand how the word may or may not apply to a given situation or circumstance. When it comes to the subject of traffic, the federal code as it is written in the United States Code is generally controlling when applied to the various franchise states. In other words, it supersedes any state motor vehicle code. According to USC Title 18, Section 31A6, it states, The term motor vehicle means every description of carriage or other contrivance propelled or drawn by mechanical power and used for commercial purposes on the highways, in the transportation of passengers, passengers and property, or property or cargo. At Section 31A10, it further clarifies the phrase, the term used for commercial purpose means the carriage of persons or property for any fair fee rate charge or other consideration or directly or indirectly in connection with any business or other undertaking intended for profit when involved with the law it may be advantageous not to admit to describing your car or automobile as a motor vehicle as this is liable to be assumed by the court as falling under the traffic codes and thereby an admittance to operating in commerce. It is better to use some other terms like automobile or conveyance when speaking or writing about your mechanical property, your car. For these two entries in the federal code, oh, from these two entries in the federal code, it becomes fairly clear and undeniable that the term motor vehicle is being used in strict connection with commercial and endeavor. The same is often true for, of the words drive or driver. The word drive took it on a commercial meaning because the stagecoach driver pushed the horses and pulled the stage that transported the passengers who paid a fee. However, it seems to be that for the words drive and driver, it depends upon the context of its use. That whenever it is associated with a commercial activity, it is to be construed in connection with that commercial activity and therefore falls under the regulatory codes. So when you read these terms in your state's motor vehicle literature, it becomes important to understand what is their true legal meaning and its significance with regard to a circumstance that you may be contemplating, rather than just assuming a common definition as the word is ordinarily used in everyday language. So that was a quick chapter, but a lot of good information in there. That's how they get you is with legal ease. So, yeah. In order to exercise your rights, unfortunately, you've got to know the law. And it's something they never taught me in school, at least. I don't know how many of you had required law classes in elementary, middle, or high school. So, yeah. And because of this, one good remedy is to become a state national. You know, resign from the corporation we call the federal government. Now, I do have packets, um, and I have a real good special going on right now. From now until the end of the year, a single packet with all the necessary documents in order to change your political status to state national, plus bonus documents that you don't need to have recorded, but you probably will once you see what they are, and detailed instructions, along with 24-7 support. You can email me anytime. If I'm awake, I'll get right back to you. Um, and the best part is, once you place your order, you usually receive your packet within minutes. That's crazy. When I ordered my packet, it took three months. And then when I got it, the instructions were super vague. And I couldn't get a hold of anybody at the company to ask questions. So I came up with packets to where 
you get them right away. I don't need to get any of your personal information because some of the forms need a lot of detailed information, like personal, and I don't want that responsibility. Uh, so yeah, now until the end of the year, a single packet is only $20. For two packets, it's only $30. So yeah, if you'd like information on Becoming a State National or would like to order a packet, shoot me an email at help at becomingastatenational.org. That's help at becomingastatenational.org. Let's stop complaining about our government and do something about it.